Hello, my name is Craig J. James and welcome to my channel. I've decided to pick a, a different scenery in filming. I'm in the great outdoors. In fact, I've come into a very old church or a chapel. There it is, over there, see? It is a, a, a Welsh speaking chapel. I'm sitting in the graveyard, see, and um, these graves in front of me, they're quite uh, modern uh, graves, but over there, and also over there, very old uh, graves. Um, a lot of the old graves, a lot of the old graves are in are in the Welsh language and only in the Welsh language because up until only about 40 years ago Forreston was a Welsh speaking area but not anymore because English is now the dominant language bloody anglo-saxons uh, anyway so yes um okay so i'm here today to just do a bit of filming and um i found out yesterday okay when i was at a bible study as i have one every wednesday uh the guy who was taking it actually told me that you don't have to swear an oath on the a Bible. Now, in courts, they do this, yeah? Or unless, well, at least they used to. I don't know if they do any more because we are no longer a Christian country. And if you swear an oath on the a Bible, then these days you're more or you're more or you're more or likely to offend some one, yeah? Whether it's an atheist or or a Buddhist, or a Hindu, or a, a Muslim, or a Scientologist, right? So, I don't know if they do that any more. I doubt it, because I've never been in court. But I know that they used to, yeah? When you were called to the stands, a barrister would hand you a Bible and say, do you swear an oath? And n actually, no, you don't. This pastor at a Bible study that I attended showed me the scriptures because he was he was um, called into a court over something. Right? Can't remember what I, what it was. And to be honest, that isn't important. What is important is what he showed me. What I'm about to show you all. Right. So he was asked the, the, the question, do you swear an oath on the Bible? N no, I don't. But I thought you were a Christian. If you're a Christian, by a God's law, are you not supposed to swear an oath on the a Bible? I said, n n no. I will show you scripture where Jesus says to not swear an oath on anything except God himself. A new scripture. But yeah, right? I got a new uh, Bible that I bought from a charity shop, Silla King James, and this is, oh, this is what it says, right? In Matthew chapter 5. Okay. In, so if you have your Bibles uh, uh, with you, Please turn to uh, the Gospel of uh, um, Matthew, chapter 5, from verse 33 to verse 37. I'll say that again. That is uh, um, uh, Matthew, chapter 5, from verse 33 to verse 37. And I quote, Again, right, and these are the words of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Sa Saviour himself, okay? Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself 
but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, neither by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, neither shall thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair black or white, but let ye communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay, for what for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So what Christ is saying here is don't swear an oath on anything. Do not make any promises to anyone because uh, you don't know what the future holds and so you may not be able to keep that promise. Keeping promises is a word is a worldly view, not a godly view. And then in and then in verse thirty seven it says, But let your let your communication be yea yea nay nay. In other words, if someone asks you questions, just simply say yes or no. So do you have to swear an oath? on the Bible. No. Uh, a lot of Christians will probably be upset that I've said this, but it's you in Scripture. The only one that you should swear an oath on is God himself and no one else. I mean, yes, this book is precious. Yes, it's the, might, it's the almighty word of God. But in a material world, it's this is just an object it's just a book like any other so is it lawful to swear an oath on the bible no so the next time any of uh, my brothers and sisters are are in court and you're and you are given this a, a book and they tell you do you swear on this uh, book and do you, and do you swear to tell uh, the uh, the truth the whole truth almighty god well yes speak the truth but you don't swear an, uh, an oath on a book swear an oath on god himself yeah, so thank you. Please comment, please subscribe, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Uh, yes, I've had my hair cut, um, uh, uh, and that is because, in all honesty, right, um, I've been caught stealing a, a, a loaf of bread, and I am now a convict, so I am being shipped to Australia. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Uh, please comment. Please su su subscribe. Please don't hesitate to hit the like button. See the ch chapel is by right here. I forgot what it's called, but th the sign at the front is all in Welsh. There's no English at all. It's all in the Welsh uh, uh, language. And uh, some of the uh, graves here, even though these are uh, modern graves, they are, some of them are in uh, Welsh, right? Think, see, I, I don't often come to graveyards. And this is our final destination, right? This is our final destination. Sooner or later, this is where we end up. We can't say how, we can't say a when, but this is where we all end up. And I often think to myself, how many of these people are, are, are actually in hell? You know, just because they are buried in a church, don't let that, 
it's a sea view right there are a lot of people out there call themselves christians it doesn't mean that they are yes we are saved through grace uh, uh, not through works but after we've been saved comes the works as it says in the book of uh, james faith without works is dead christ said we will know them by their fruits and many people even at the time of jesus when they came to him they said lord lord didn't we cast out demons in your name and what was his uh, reply what did he say depart from me you evil ones i never knew you the question is is not that we know jesus but does jesus know us does jesus know you this is what you have to ask yourselves as saint paul says in 2 corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 examine yourselves in the faith examine yourselves daily my god i'm fat just thought i'd just let that out i don't know why right please comment please subscribe please don't hesitate to hit that like a button um thank you all and um speaking of being in a graveyard to my brothers in christ if i do not get to see you in this uh, lifetime i shall see you all in, in our father's kingdom at least i pray and i hope thank you amen